and welcome to Kenya Secrets. If you are new to the channel kindly subscribe. ODM party pioneer Rayla Odinga is the main man who can save Kenyans from the terrible deeds that may be finished by President William Ruto's administration. The British Broadcasting Corporation, BC, has conceded. The telecaster recognizes that Rayla is best positioned to lead the resistance, now that his alliance, the Azimio La Umoja Union, has lost in its offer to administer Kenyans after the pass of the Jubilee expression. It further concedes that he seems like the main individual ready to reassemble the resistance wing, which is at present in confusion, after a lot of its individuals passed on to join President William Ruto's new government. However, the telecaster likewise takes note of that. This will possibly occur assuming the previous prime minister, who some contend is probably going to resign, consents to stay around for additional time and doesn't leave dynamic governmental issues. On the off chance that the 77-year-old is to stay dynamic in legislative issues he stays the best, in the event that by all accounts not the only man who can provide motivation to the resistance, who appear to be in confusion when the country direly needs a coordinated and successful resistance fit for viewing the public authority to be responsible, it says in a distribution, through the star. BC notes that however Rayla appreciates gigantic help the nation over, it will be difficult for him to again set them up for one more official bid, until he shows status to lead the resistance. It waits on the requirement for him to partake in assisting them with handling their ongoing hardships, in the occasion he should again compete for president later on. Regardless of his allies' steadfastness it would be challenging for him to revitalize them for one more political reason that doesn't zero in on fixing their quick and squeezing financial misfortunes, BBC further says. To conclude, the individual colleague, PA, Tasuna East MP Junette Mohammed, Seth Odongo, has seen that low elector turnout in Luo Nyanza prompted the loss of Azimio flag bearer Rayla Odinga. Odongo, moniker Dikembe Dicembe, noted around 700,000 individuals in Rayla's lawn didn't end up voting for their political head boss in the surveys led on August 9. In a tweet on Monday, he said should the neighborhood chiefs neglect to cross-examine the reason for low turnout before the following political race and think of an answer, more individuals won't try to cast a ballot. Luo MPs actually don't have the foggiest idea about why 700,000 individuals in Luo Nyanza didn't end up voting. They actually don't get it. Furthermore, assuming they head that path, in the following surveys, 2 million individuals won't end up voting. We better let them know. Has there been retrospection? Disembe tweeted. During last month's political race, in Homa Bay Rayla surveyed very nearly 400,000 votes and Ruto got under 4,000 on a 74% turnout. He likewise won predominantly in Shaya, 371,000 to 4,000, on a 71% turnout and in Kisumu, 420,000 to 10,000, on a 71% turnout. In 2013, turnout in Nyanza was 89%. Homa Bay recorded 94%, Shaya, 92%, Kisumo 90%, a normal of around 20% higher than 2022, as per British political researcher Professor Nick Cheeseman who has been following decisions in Kenya, had Nyanza and the coast turned out as they have done before, Rayla wouldn't simply have gotten a subsequent adjust run, he would presumably have won through and through, in Nyanza, and the coast, some Odinga allies, disenthralled by his partnership with Kenyatta remained at home, denying him the numbers required for triumph, Cheeseman composed on the elephant. Hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be able to watch our upload.